world of fun and fantasy and ever-changing views and computer terminology. Commodore's news. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. Hi, I'm Graham. Welcome to the Commodore Cave. Today I'm really excited because I have a new addition to the cave and I do mean a new addition. What have we here? Special delivery. I ordered this way back in September. It was posted from Germany last week and it finally turned up today. Now I checked the box thoroughly and I'm very relieved to say there are no dents, dings, tears or watermarks on it at all. So that's a good start. Let's open it up and find out what's in the box. The Mega 65 computer. Let's get rid of the outer carton. Wow, that's impressive. This computer was actually finished last year, but they weren't able to ship because they couldn't get the cardboard to manufacture the boxes. And I like that, ready. I'll bet it's ready. I'm ready. The battery for the real-time clock, RTC, is a CR1220 and is not included. Over to the back. The 21st century realization of the C65 Heritage, a complete 8-bit computer running more than 40 times faster than a C64 while being increasingly compatible. Mechanical keyboard, digital video output, dual SDHC card support. Hmm. Ethernet, extended memory, and other features increase the fun without spoiling the 8-bit feel. Hardware design and software are open source. This FPGA-based computer wants to be experienced, modified, and improved. Development is ongoing. And it comes with GEOS, free license for GEOS, and exclusive GEO65 version included. Nice. At last, the moment of truth. No! Oh, it was only a nightmare. What a relief. No! Not another A500 Mini. Wake up, wake up, Graham. Okay, enough mucking around, for real this time. Ah, oh, look at that. A brand new Mega 65. Listen to this. And just so we can get a size comparison, there it is against the 64. Okay, against the real 64, or the Amiga 500. I'm not going to go through all this bit by bit, you understand what's in there. And the renowned floppy disk drive. I'm just going to take a minute to appreciate this. That's beautiful. 30 odd years late. Wow. Smell. Mmm, smells like plastic. Over here we have the manual. Last piece of technology I had, the manual was a PDF link. There's my welcome, thank you very much. Take good care of that. And the Mega 65 guide. Uh, does this bring back memories at all? Pretty much the same size too. just really adds to the whole experience that they've gone to the effort of actually producing this. Can you imagine how much work went into this alone? People have become impatient waiting for this computer to arrive after several months of delays uh, because of the cardboard basically and the paper and I don't understand that. This is 
worth it. It's just worth it. If I was going out and having a wonderful meal, I wouldn't expect it to be served up to me on a paper plate. And this is no paper plate. They've done a great job of the packaging with it. And uh, I'm going to keep this uh, packaging as well for many years. So I do appreciate it. And I do think it was worth the wait. Absolutely. Dr. Paul Gardner Stephen, one of the authors and editors and developers of this amazing computer and a fellow Australian who lives just around the corner in Adelaide. Um, and just around the corner in Australia is about 2,000 kilometres away. But that's just around the corner, isn't it? It is our power supply. A user manual for the power supply. Okay, thank you for that. Attention to detail. And you know, uh, compared to running it off a simple little USB, it's a real power supply, which I really do like. And then we have our adapters, of course, to, uh, to suit anywhere in the world. And there's mine. That's one I need. Put those back over there. If you're still watching at this point, how about clicking that like button now? It really does help the channel and it promotes with other people interested in Commodore computers. There's the expansion bus on the back. That's a lot smaller than I expected it to be. And there's our card. Now before I power it on, I need to install my CR1220 battery, which I've got right there. Open it up for the first time. There's no warranty seals on this, so no one will ever know. Uh, oops. Just take a quick look at it. There's our memory card, 16 gig, which should hold quite a lot of information. That should be fine. There's the famous refurbished floppy drive. I believe they brought about 3,000 of these. And now our battery. There you go, that just snaps into place very satisfyingly. And I'll put the computer back together. For the first boot, I'm going to use the VGA on this. I think it's appropriate and a nod back to the roots of this machine. Just so you can see it come to life. Power. Got the green lid on. And there's our welcome screen. Welcome to Mega 65. Nice to meet you, Mega 65. Before you go any further, we need to do a few things and uh, set this up, which I was expecting to do. So I'll go ahead and sort that out. And I'll be back with you in a minute. It was just searching for the floppy drive then. Press any key to begin. Let's take a look at the demo, huh? One. Okay, what about ARR sprites? Thank you very much for that. Let's give it a go. It's working. No sound, of course. I've got that hooked up. The Mega 65. So much promise, and at last, so much potential. Exit to basic. Now you're talking. There you go ready and the prompt is flashing. Doesn't that just make you want to program? And this intro demo is actually a basic program. Did you get all that? The Commodore 64 was the best selling personal computer in history. Understandably, Commodore wanted to cultivate that amazing success and the C65 was their answer. Sadly, it died on the vine not least because of the introduction of the Amiga computers. But for me, there is a difference. The Commodore 64 beckoned me forward. When I turned it on, it came up with a simple prompt, ready. After that, it was up to me and it encouraged me, no, demanded that I learn how to talk to it. And it provided me with a very simple language, basic. To my way of thinking, the Mega 65 picks up where the C65 should have gone and continues that adventure. This is in the first batch 
of 400 and there's another thousand available for order now. How many more of these will hit the market? On those numbers alone, there's a potential base to create software dedicated that can be written for this computer and take the 8-bit Commodore machine to the next level. I really do hope this computer is adopted by the retro community and we see some amazing developments come out on it. There has been shock and criticism at the price point for this computer. I must say I don't quite get it. Back in 1984, I excitedly went into Kmart and I couldn't wait to hand over my money for that brand new Commodore 64. That cost me $400 on high purchase no less. This isn't emulation, this is a proper FPGA computer with all the bells and whistles built in. 400 Australian dollars in 1984 equates to almost $1,400 today. This computer has hit the market at 1,000 Australian dollars delivered to the door. We typically spend way more than that on the latest phone. I think we need to keep this in perspective. To those who conceived this and spent years of hard work bringing it to the market, I think you've done an incredible job and you should be rightly proud of this achievement. I'm so excited to have this new computer join the Commodore Cave. I'm never going to buy a working Commodore 65 computer. Even if I had the opportunity, I can't afford it, and if I did, it would go under glass. That's not what the cave's about. In my opinion, a Commodore 65 computer is one of the few that I would say genuinely should be in a museum for all to see and enjoy. But this should and will be on my desk. I can't wait for the adventures that the Mega 65 and I will embark on together. And so I genuinely look forward to using this amazing computer as a creative tool. Well, that's it today from me from the cave. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, leave us a thumbs up or better still a comment or better still subscribe. Till next time from the cave. See ya. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Cause the Commodore is keeping up with you.